he had a brain injury, but then they want to just deny that. Final question here. Brain injury, he had a neurological evaluation, or he should have had one. And according to his posting on Facebook, he was in a blast injury. Let me ask you this final question, and folks can read the book Wounded Minds uh, by Dr. John uh, Liebert. Where do you think it's all going to end in your gut? They're not going to do the national, uh, you know, conscription or whatever, or national service for a long time. And again, I wouldn't be against that except for who's running it. I mean, Rahm Emanuel was for that, for heaven's sakes, folks. Uh, that's not coming for a long time, if ever. What do you expect to happen then as they have a, a aging military where there's like people in there that are 65 in combat, guys with legs blown off to the knee with prosthesis still fighting? I mean, this is this is like a joke. Uh, if it wasn't real, well, I, I, I go back to what Calvin Coolidge, President Calvin Coolidge, said: um, "The nation that forgets its defenders itself will be forgotten." And I think we're on that track and heading off of it. Well, thank you. Hopefully, we can get you to pop in on subjects from time to time. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Very interesting interview, folks. I think he's a well-meaning guy. has a lot of great points. I don't know if I agree with um, <laughs> national compulsory service because it's all going to be socialist. Uh, but you look at how screwed up kids are and how disconnected from reality, sometimes I think it'd be good for them, but you just can't. It's slavery. It's You can't trust the state. It's just too corrupt. You can't have it. The answer is not to have all these wars. I get where the doctor's coming from, that you will have less wars if everybody's kids are in it. But you know all the politicians. Their kids are going to be in the Air National Guard. Their kids are not going to be out there in the combat. And it's got to end, ladies and gentlemen. And it is going to end. Let me answer my question for him. They're rolling out with autonomous drones, land, air, sea, ground. And by land, you're going to have cars. You're going to have ground trips. You're going to have land vehicles that are robots. Basically, it's like a Ford truck souped up like a Ford Raptor with uh, missiles, machine guns, hand grenades, whole nine yards. That's a robot. We think of robots as Robbie the robot coming to kill you. No, an 18-wheeler pulls up at your house and 10 combat robots roll out the back with drones above to give them a bird's eye view and they come in your house and they kill you. And that's what they've got right now. They've, the robots they show you on TV are nothing, ladies and gentlemen. They had robots 15 years ago more advanced than what you see on the news. That's highly classified. Like I told you back then, they have autonomous drones. They just told you last year that they've been operating for a long time. They make the decisions, ladies and gentlemen. That's their answer to humans breaking down and not wanting to carry out immoral operations. All right, Sandy, Sherry, and others, thanks for holding. Sorry I had to hold a while. We ran into that guest uh, being on from when you called in. Sandy, you're on the air. Go ahead. Thank you. Yes, calling about Obamacare. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, I have two short hospital horror stories for you and a question, if that's all right. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, a friend of mine's mother got ill. She was in her, like, 77 years old. This was about a month ago. She went into the hospital. She was having kidney problems. They kept her in there for a couple weeks. She finally died. Well, when the family talked to her afterwards, they told her that dialysis could have saved her life, but she wasn't qualified for uh, No, that's dialysis. right. That's right. The, the, they're, they're cutting almost all the life-saving events. Most of the time, if people you know have, are having kidney failure, I learned about this with my uncle, it comes back. A lot of people in the hospital who are sick on all these drugs, the kidneys fail, but a lot of times they come back. They will now just not do the dialysis and not even tell the family if you don't ask the questions, and they will kill you. Well, that's what happened. And another friend of mine, uh, she pulled, she tore a ligament in her knee. She couldn't even walk. I took her to the hospital in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, Westmoreland Hospital. I took her up there. There were no doctors to be found. All there were were PAs and nurse practitioners. When they asked where a doctor was, they said, doctors are only called in case of emergency. Well, they gave her a crutch. She's hobbling around on a crutch with a torn ligament. She still has to have an MRI which I know is going to lead to surgery, and God knows how long that'll take. The hospitals that have fully rolled over to Obamacare now, a computer tells the doctor what to do. And, and, and real doctors just will not follow this. They're getting rid of them. They're going to have a nurse practitioner in there, 
That's why you hear there's a nurse shortage. A nurse practitioner basically is a doctor who isn't a doctor. And I'm not knocking nurse practitioners. There's a lot of great ones out there who do know as much as the doctors or more. The fact is they're just downgrading our health care. Uh, now, my question is this. Why can't we as a nation have a massive recall and call all these guys back before the elections? I agree. We have to have the will because the Republican leadership is in bed with the Democrats on Obamacare and everything else. That's the problem. God bless yeah. you. We're going to go to break. Uh, you had one other point? She's gone. I'm going to come back and go right to Sherry. Then I'm going to hurry to uh, Andrew and Truth Raider and Marion, and that's it. We'll do five minutes of overdrive because I've got to get over there and shoot some special reports for the nightly news tonight and a whole bunch of other important stuff around here. Uh, but uh, it's just incredible to know what a screw job Obamacare is and then to have Al Sharpton go, you're just a racist. MSNBC, Alex Jones, deeply racist. And they don't show where I'm deeply racist. It's like saying Alex Jones, uh, you know, has green skin. And then I don't, you know, it's just, they just lie. It's just, they do whatever they want, preying on you. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by La Cig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic. Helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine. Puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. By the way, our story that is just insane that will be covered on the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock central, is up on DrudgeReport.com on the right-hand side. Federal snipers train guns on family for filming cattle. Man arrested for expressing free speech outside of designated free speech area. No, this isn't some dystopic novel. This is America. Federal snipers with the Bureau of Land Management trained guns on members of a family yesterday after they dared to stop to take video footage of cattle outside the bounds of a designated free 
uh, First Amendment area before arresting one of the men for noncompliance. I mean, there's this attitude of arrest citizens for nothing. The cattle being rounded up by BLM officers as part of a crackdown on Nevada rancher uh, Cliven Bundy, who has refused to pay grazing fees demanded by the feds as a result of the reclassification of 6, 600,000 acres of federal land. And he's been there since the 1870s, his family. They openly have the grazing rights. Nevada's 87% federal, and then like something like 5% state. So I think it's only like 8% or 7% last time I checked private land. And, and, and now there's people that own houses and property in the middle of national parks everywhere and, and outside areas. And they're coming and saying, you can't have access to your home anymore. You can't have water. It's kick us off the land. Government is out of control. And then it goes through them pointing guns at him, and the Fed said they're going to have a SWAT raid on him and all the rest of it. I mean, this they're gonna, probably going to kill him, folks. Another Ruby Ridge in the making. We're watching it, and it's just a bunch of guys dressed up like soldiers. We follow our orders, and they want a war, folks. They want a war. I've seen the FEMA training videos where they badmouth the founders. These people are nuts. And this can end up happening. It may not be this case, but it's going to happen. Somebody's going to shoot somebody's kid in the back. <laughs> I just can't handle it anymore. It's just like V for Vendetta, folks. Why do we have to let criminals run everything? It's not my opinion. Criminals run the government now. Sherry in Missouri, thanks for holding her on the air. Hi. Just before I begin about Obamacare, just because you're union does not mean that you vote Democrat. Um, but I, I know, it just means that they take your dues and give it to the Democrats. Right. Well, let me just say uh, what Blue Cross and Blue Shield defines as medical necessity. And the plan only pays for services that are medically necessary, which are defined as a service or supply essential to an eligible person's health that is appropriate and necessary, consistent with a acceptable medical practices according to the medical policy established by the National Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. That's right. That's the bioethics board that basically decides the rationing. And Blue Cross Blue Shield, the biggest insurance company in the world, tied in with Warren Buffett and everybody else, they helped write Obamacare as a giant rape. And the Democrats think, oh, we're getting a free goodie. No, you're not. Go ahead. Well, let me finish this definition. Not primarily for the convenience of the eligible person, his family, physician, or other provider, consistent with attaining reasonably achievable outcomes and reasonably calculated to result in the improvement of the covered person's psychological or physiological uh, benefit. The fact that a physician pre prescribes services or supplies does not automatically mean the services or supplies are medically necessary. No, 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 no. Obamacare was written by the insurance companies, amongst other things, but chiefly to make you buy it and then to let them cut the quality of care. Let me say that our plan changed as of January 1st of 2012. Everybody's complaining about what happened this year. Our plan changed two years ago. Yes, ma'am. That's when they passed Obamacare. Even before it was, quote, implemented into the general public two years ago, they began the screw job. It's a phased-in screw job so people don't know what's hitting them. And the media sits around going, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. We don't, you know, Republicans, we don't know. We don't like it. But we can't repeal it. Because uh, 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 the lobbyists paid them off. Great this points. Great calls, Sherry. We're going to come back and overdrive with more calls. And Island News, 9, 7 o'clock. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two-ounce bottle and is not recommended 
grade or extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. 